everyone. Good morning. This is Jeff from Control C. Uh, welcome to our capsule uh, discussion. You know, I've started um, working on capsule discussions for people that may have not attended our previous webinars or our previous events, you know, so that uh, we are still able to share what we've talked about um, previously and then add new things. You know? And uh, for this uh, capsule course on digital entrepreneurship, I have with me uh, real estate virtual assistant, Rhea Vargas. Say hi, Rhea. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Okay, so this is our second capsule course. So how <laughs> how does it feel, Rhea? No, no, no. Uh, by the way, no, if you've seen everyone, uh, meron good feedback na nakakatuwa na Rhea na merong na pupulot ang mga tao sa pinagdadadaldal nating dalawa. Mm -hmm. No? So I hope that <laughs> all that we're what we've talking what we're talking about is something that uh, you find valuable. And if you have questions, you can definitely email me. Rhea and I will get back to you together with Kat Antonio, our other um, digital entrepreneur friend. We'll definitely get back to you. Um, my email address you can get in touch with me at Jeff. That's J E F F at Control C. That's C T R L C dot biz. Again, it's Jeff at control c c t r l c dot biz and we'll definitely get back to you now last time we were Ray and i were talking of yung bucket why why should you go and start your digital career bucket nga siya kailangan simulan and ano yung perks so for this capsule course um pag-uusapan naman namin is ano yung mga dapat na meron na kayo or naiintindihan na ninyo when you started your digital career Ikaw, Rhea, when you started this, ano yung mga preconceived notions mo dati nung sinimulan mo to? Uh, mm. May mga nabago ba na parang as you go along, ay hindi Ayon. pa ito yung umpisa. <laughs> Ayun, um, since I started in this field accidentally, hindi siya yung pinili ko talaga na dahil gusto ko agad. Um, yung unang notion ko kung bakit hesitant ako, although uh, some friends have already trying to introduce me, to this field. Ang notion ko kasi is, hindi kasi siya permanent. Um, unlike having a stable office job na sure kang sasweldo ka every cut off. Um, yun yung unang hesitation ko kung bakit ayokong mag, ano, agad. Um, yung hindi siya kasi ganun ka-stable. Um, plus, no one will take care of your your um, benefits except for yourself. Um, and another thing is, mamom problema pa ako ng setup. And before I started, I don't have internet connection. I don't have um, the complete setup that uh, setup that I need. So yun yung hesitations ko. Um, pero when nung nung start na ako, um, don ko lang isa isang narealize. So medyo late bloomer ako. <laughs> don ko lang isa isang narealize yung mga kung ano pala yung dapat na hinanda ko before. Kung ito talaga yung pipili ng kong field. So unang una um, na narealize ko it you need to have your strong why. Bakit mo gustong pumasok sa field na to? Kasi dun ka laging babalik at babalik. Yun yung panghahawakan mo kapag nandiyan na yung mga challenges. Yes. Ang tagal ng client, ang hirap yeah. pumanap ng client, yeah, parang yeah, gusto yeah. mo na mag-give up, pagod ka na. So, babalikan mo talaga yung reason kung bakit gusto mo tong field na to. So, yun yung unang-una. And, um, uh, second is, yung setup mo um complete setup of course yun yung ano um kailangan na ready ka kasi hindi pwedeng yung pag nandiyan yung job tsaka ka magre-ready kasi mabilis yung transition eh um halimbawa you submitted a proposal and then you were invited for an interview usually kinabukasan magsisimula ka na wala na tong thing ano wala nang usually wala na siyang room for training kasi client are expecting na you can already do the job without any proper training kasi alam mo na dapat alam mo na so kailangan before you look for a client ready na yung setup mo ayun um and ano discuss ko na ba tong buong ano what do you na, what do you need to have <laughs> yeah, yeah, lang. Um, pardon lang muna ako uh -uh. um ako ang una ko talaga na realize talaga is yung hesitation ko para tayo ng hesitation and i think it's the same for everyone Ang hesitation ng marami sa atin is the fact na hindi tuloy-tuloy yung pera. Tama, no? Na parang, oh my God, paano pang nawala? Anong gagawin ko? Where will I get my next pay? 
pero one of the biggest lessons na I found in going digital was dito ko natutunan na you really have to learn how to diversify your income. Dapat, and you know, Rhea, if you agree with me, just say yes. Um, importante na marami kang sources of income. Mm-hmm. Maraming pinagkukunan. Kasi pagka wala kang pinagkukunan, pag-iisa lang, di ba Rhea, nat- naranasan na natin to, yung iisa lang yung income mo, um, na wala, para kang nahihilong manok hindi mo alam kung saan kakukuha ng pera. No? Yung, yung point na yon. So, um, I think importante na maintindihan yon ng tao na tama yung sinabi mo. I agree with what you said na you start with a strong why. Bakit mo siya gagawin? Kasi there are days na mahirap. There are days na mahirap. Mahirap humanap ng kliyente. Uh, kaya, ano ka katagal? I, sorry to everyone ha, if you're hearing noises. We're doing mm-hmm. it in our home. Kaya gano'ng kakatagal nag-antay in between clients? Um, the first time na, ano, three months. Di ba tagal? Tapos wala kang imba? Oo. Nakatakot? Kasi wala Nakatakot. akong niche that time. Wala pa akong ano. And yung field na in-applyan ko that time is something na I don't really want to do. So siguro nagre-reflect siya sa interview na Oo, um, hindi, oo na hindi ako gano'n ka-eager to get the job. Mm-hmm. Although super eager na akong kumita pero wala doon talaga yung ano eagerness. <laughs> Oo. And yun yung isang pinakamalaking challenge na may encounter niyo na baka simulan yung questionin why. Bakit ko to ginagawa pagka mabagal yung kliyente, mabagal yung dating. Um eventually darating kayo sa punto na kapag if you do the job and you do the job well, hindi kayo kailangan maghanap, sunod-sunod yan magpapatong-patong pa yan. And Ano ba yung mga kailangan? So let's talk about mm-hmm. sa slides na to, Norea. Um, unahin natin yung working setup kasi nabanggit mo na. Importante talaga guys, if you're going to go digital, importante ang setup. No? Pag sinabi nating setup, saan kayo magtatrabaho? Nare-remember ko nung una akong nag-digital, nung una akong nag-telecommute kasi dati telecommuter ako. May kumpanya ako pero sa bahay ako nagtatrabaho. Nakakaawa yung itsura ko doon sa sahiga ko. <laughs> Kasi gabi na yung morning shift. So, <laughs> sa sahig, nakapatong yung laptop para akong kuba, nakayuko. Pero hirap ang trabaho ng gano'n. No? Ikaw, Rhea, paano yung umpisang setup mo? Um, since nag-apply ako nun under a company, so mayroon na silang list of requirements that you need to have your um, uh, office. Uh, Oo, na kailangan mong i-prepare. Um, so mayroon na silang checklist na binigay sa akin. Um, so, bumili na ako ng PC, uh, laptop pa noon time na yon, which is second hand. Um, actually, nag-start ako sa desktop na second hand. And then, bumili ako ng laptop for a backup. So, nasa ilalim pa ako ng stairs noon, nasa apartment pa kami sa Pasig. Uh, <laughs> nasa ilalim pa ako ba- ng stairs. <laughs> alam ko yung bahay na yan. <laughs> Oo. Diba? Nandun ako sa ilalim ng stairs noon. Doon ako naglagay ng maliit na computer table. And ano, so, at saka siya, so pag sleep time na, nasa taas na yung mga baget, so hindi na nila ako na i-istorbo. Um, so yun, uh, tapos nagpakabet na ako ng internet connection, since pinakamabilis sa Sky, sa Sky ako nagpakabet. Um, yeah. So kailangan mo siyang i-prepare, internet connection, yung setup mo. Um, yeah. Of course, your working space, a very comfortable chair, kasi you will be working for hours, lalo ako may scoliosis ako, so yun yung next investment ko, is naghintay ako ng sale sa Lazada ng office chair. Na <laughs> yes, na parang feel na feel mong nasa office ka. Um, and aside from the the initial setup, you need to have a backup if all else fails. At usually, kapag praning kang katulad ko, yung backup mo, may backup pa rin. Turo to yun. Kailangan yung plan B mo, yung backup mo, kailangan may backup pa. Kung kaya mo yung backup, yes. may, backup may backup ng backup mo, may backup pa. <laughs> the better. Mo, the better. Para kahit anong mangyari, super ready ka sa kahit anong glitches na pwede mangyari. Ayun. Normally naman, employers are understanding. Clients are, are understanding mm-hmm. yung mga natural calamities. Kunyari, binagyo ka, nalindo, mm-hmm. nakon mo. And some Kaya are ganun. even generous enough. Oo. Yeah. And some are even generous enough to send you a new laptop. I Ay, knew kilala, some friends. Kilala yung mga natin ganyan. Yes. Oo. <laughs> Kailangan natin kung sino to. Diba? Parang ikaw ba yun? Hindi lang laptop. <laughs> ikaw ba yun? <laughs> Hindi ako yun. <laughs> With cash. Pero may kilala tayo. Okay. 
Hindi, <laughs> 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 pero totoo yun. Some employers, <laughs> like sabi ni Rhea, some employers are very generous. They're very open yung sked nila. Pero it does not mean, no? Ito yung tatandaan natin, guys. It does not mean na mabait yung employer ninyo. Uh, you will not deliver quality work. No? Kasi, Rhea, yun yung iniisip, eh. Y- yung get to a place, mm-hmm. okay, kasi na, ay, okay yeah. lang si client. Hindi naman siya mahanap. So, Oo. Ay, hindi akong pakita yung mga ganong-ganong. Um, ayun. No? That's very dangerous. Meron akong ano, meron akong kasabihan tungkol dyan na I keep on reminding um, people about that. Um, lahat ng magandang bagay, kapag inabuso mo, mawawala din. So, might as well take care of it instead of being complacent and abuse, abusing it. Lahat ng magandang bagay, pwedeng mawala kapag inabuso mo. So, take care of it very well. And kung okay lang kay client na minsan absent ka kasi masakit ang dulo ng kuko mo, huwag mong lagiin kasi masasawa din yan. <laughs> yung mga ganon. Ayun. Makakahanap yan ng willing to work. Importante, uh-huh. makakahanap at makakahanap yan ng magtatrabaho. So, let's go back to the setup. Reliable internet connection, preferably wired. Pag sinabi natin wired, hindi ka naka-wifi, nakakabit ka mismo. Um, uh-huh. DSL. DSL, no? DSL. Preferably 5 Mbps and up. Mm. Mas mataas, mas mabuti. Um, hanapin nyo, yeah. based on location yung internet eh, talaga, based on location. May internet na hindi maganda oh. sa isang location. So, alamin ninyo. Survey kayo sa maganda. mga kapitbahay nyo. Oo. Mm-hmm. Um, importante na meron. Yung quiet place to work, importante yan. Kailangan meron kayo. And plan B. Ako ang plan B ko, nag-member ako sa isang co-working space. So, for those that are not familiar, ano yan ngayon? Trend yan ngayon kasi nga maraming freelancers. Yung co-working mm-hmm. space is a space that offers a chair and a table for you plus internet connection for a fee, a monthly fee. Yung iba, pwede kang rumenta mm-hmm. ng kwarto. Uh, yung iba sa fee na yon may libreng umaapaw na kape, tsa, tubig na mainit, lahat meron. Mm-hmm. Nag-member ako sa isang co-work space para just in case na wala dito, walang internet, wala talaga lahat, I can go to that work co-work space and still continue to deliver. No. And then yung isang co-work space ko, pagka wala yun, binifriend ko na, <laughs> ito yung pinakamatindi. Bumili na ako ng, bumili pa ako ng ano, ng uh, pocket wifi. Bukod pa yan doon sa wifi ng telepono ko na nagagamit ko din. <laughs> At bukod pa doon, binifriend ko yung Starbucks na malapit dito, yung barista. <laughs> binifriend ko talaga. Worst comes to worst, sa Starbucks ako. Social pa nga ako, Starbucks. Eh. Ikaw, Rhea, sino yung binifriend mo? Diyan sa Ay. Tai Tai? Ay, sa Tanay? I envy you. <laughs> no, nasa Teresa ako. I ah, envy Teresa you. Ako ang benefriend ko is 7-Eleven staff. <laughs> ano sabi mo sa kanila? Oo, kasi sabi ko, uyo, pag walang kuryente, pwede ako makisaksak sa inyo ng, ano, ng laptop if ever na maubos na yung battery and wala pa rin kuryente. Kasi nasa probinsya ako ng Teresa Rizal. So, I envy you guys na may malapit na co-working spaces sa inyo kasi meron kayong backup na ready. And, um, in co-working space kasi, para siyang social na computer shop, you can bring your own computer Uh-oh. and some co-working space have their own computers that you can rent. So, social siya na, co- na, ano, na computer shop na walang naglalaro ng dot at walang maingay. So, yon Yun yung Actually, very short description uh, yon May isang option for a co-work space na kung gusto niyo talaga ng matindi-tinding internet connection, humanap kayo ng Korean na computer shop Na-try mo na ba yun, Ray? Ang gaganda ng silya nila, ang gaganda ng internet Ay, nila. Not Ray, yet. Yung mga Korean na, Korean-owned na computer shop mm-hmm. ay ganda. Hindi pa yan pwede umaabot kayo... sa bundok ko. Pasensya na. Hindi, pwede maganda siya kasi pwede kayo magdala ng laptop, pwede kayo makisaksak sa internet nila. And then, I think mas minimal siya kesa sa co-work space. Pero kasi, ako kasi, ang gusto ko is monthly talaga. Yung pupunta ko, wala na akong babayaran. Monthly. Mm-hmm. So, Membership lang naman yan normally. Lalo na kung ang, in, ang kukunin nyo lang naman isa space, hindi naman kayo kukuha ng office, mga ganon. Ito rin yung isa sa mga pinakamadalas na tanong sa atin, I'm very sure. Um, you have to take a personal stock of your skills and abilities. Ako, bago talaga kayo magsimula bukod sa why, kailangan alam ninyo kung ano yung kaya ninyong gawin. Very important. Ano yung kaya ninyong gawin? Saan kayo magaling? No, importante 'yun eh, di ba, Rhea? Yes. 
So you really need to honestly assess yourselves kung ano yung mga skills na kaya nyo. Um, may it be yung mga natutunan nyo during your previous jobs, previous office jobs, yung mga natutunan nyo ng estudyante kayo. If you're good in Excel, you can list that down. Everything that you can do and you're willing to do. Yun. Um, make a list of it and then look closely at your list. Uh, Doon mo malalaman kung saan field ka unang magsa-start or kung saan field ka papasok. Oo. Pero tulad ng sinabi ni Rhea, importante na honest kayo sa sarili ninyo kung ano yung kaya ninyong gawin. Because like what Rhea said, when you interview today, pwede ka nang magsimula tomorrow. And your client will trust na what you say is true. So kapag sinabi mong alam mo to and nag-start ka kinabukasan, umeetsos ka lang pala or hindi pala totoo yung sinasabi mo, mabubuko at mabubuko pa ni client. So, yes. hindi uubra hindi dito yung fake it till you make it attitude na ay sige, sasabihin ko, aaralin ko na lang as I go. Unless, saksakan ka ng bilis na learner, hindi siya uubra. Mm-hmm. No? Kailangan malinaw talaga sa inyo kung ano yung skills and abilities na meron kayo. Rhea, kailangan ba talaga ng relevant experience para mag-succeed dito? Um, generally, yes. Um, katulad nung sa akin, um, just an example, when I started, nag-apply ako sa isang ano, real estate virtual assistant company. So, buta na lang, yung previous job ko is real estate related, yung office job ko, which is property management sa US din. So, kahit pa paano, merong pang dugsong, nag, nag, nagdugtong yung link, yung chain. So, um, kasi... Most of the clients are looking for someone with experience na kasi the, the reason why they are looking for freelancers is they don't have time to train people. Um, gusto nila, pag hinay nila, kaya mo na agad gawin. So it's really important to have relevant experience. Although mayro mga clients na mga ilan ngalan na tumatanggap ng walang experience as long as you can prove na mabilis kang matuto, they would still give you a chance. Pero mas madami yung nagahanap ng experience. So importante yung relevant experience. Or if not experience, meron kang um, training, relevant trainings na related doon sa um, papasukin mo. So, doon papasok yung mga courses na available online na pwede mong kunin. Para lang equip ka. And I can't stress it enough yung the need to learn. I think Rhea realized this nung nag-digital siya. Napakalaki ng role ng investing in yourself in terms of learning new skills. Um, kailangan you are always up to par with the market at kailangan hindi ka nagsasawang matuto. Kasi always remember, in the digital marketplace, marami, hindi lang ikaw ang nagkukumahog to get that next client. And people will do anything and everything. So you have to have that culture of learning na mag-invest ka sa sarili mo and learn. Ikaw, Rhea, saan ka kumukuha ng mga courses? Kasi maraming online. Maraming libre. Ayun. Um, courses, Udemy. Yun. Marami akong natutunan sa Udemy. At marami din akong biniling paid courses doon. Kasi when I was a trainer, I was expected to train yung general administrative task. E eh, nag-concentrate lang ako sa transaction coordination. So, kailangan ko ituro yung SEO, yung digital marketing, um, social media management. Since hindi ako masyadong ano doon sa field na yon, I need to buy courses from Udemy pa just so I have something to teach. So importante yung um, kailangan mong uh, mag-aral continuously. Plus before I get to this transaction coordination um, niche, sobrang um, aside from the courses, kumuha talaga ako ng clients. I look for clients na magbibigay ng chance sa akin na kahit wala akong ganung experience sa field na yon. Um, I got clients na nag-trust sa akin to do the job. So, doon ako natuto talaga sa actual na when I had the clients na. Doon ako maraming natutunan. Plus, be proactive. When you have a client, aside doon sa task na binibigay nila sa inyo, pag-aralan nyo yung buong business nila para malaman nyo kung saan pa kayo pwedeng pumasok. Aside sa may matututunan na kayo, that will help your retention. Kasi, Alimbawa, may ibang field or may ibang um, department doon sa business ni client na pwede kang makatulong. Pag nag-proactive ka to offer um, help, uh, mariritin ka ni client, marirealize niya na you're really uh, uh, serious with, the, with what you're doing. Marala, ma- ma- marirealize niya na 
importante ka sa business and you can do something for the business, you can help a lot. Yon, uh, marami ka nang matututunan, marirating ka pa, pwede ka mag So, win-win-win-win situation siya. Oh, so, grab every opportunity. But again, Rhea and I will tell you, it all starts with you wanting to learn more. I cannot yeah. stress that enough. Kailangan talaga, you want to learn more and you want to, um, you know, uh, expand. Tingnan nyo lang yung mga job openings. Eh. Makikita nyo ano ba yung pinakamatitinding job openings. Pwede nyo aralin yun. Pwede nyo aralin yun. It will not, it should not stop you. Now, um, ito, kailangan ba kreya tech savvy? Pag sinabi natin tech savvy, kailangan ba marunong mag-code, marunong mag-program? Uh, no naman. Um, hindi naman ibig sabihin na tech savvy eh, kaya mong magbaklas at magkabit ng computer in 30 seconds. Um, when you kaya say tech... <laughs> Uh-oh. When when you, when you say tech savvy, um that means na mabilis kang matuto ng bagong tools. Um yung mga clients kasi bigla lang magbibigay sa inyo ng tools, log in, um username and password and then they will ask you to work something on that tool. Um kailangan mabilis kang matuto. Um ma, ma, parang alam mo kung paano mo siya matututunan agad. You know what where to look for pagdating sa resources and tutorials. Yun yung sinasabi natin na tech savvy in this field. Uh, mabilis kang mag-adapt sa technology. O, at saka yung basic tools. Microsoft Office. Mm-mm. Kailangan alam. Hindi po pwedeng hindi. <laughs> Kasi remember, we are 100% online-based. So, kailangan um, yung tools alam. Yung excellent communication skills ito, isa pa to, I cannot stress this enough. Kasi hindi kayo makikita eh. Mag-uusap lang kayo either through email or voice. So kailangan hindi ko hindi namin sinasabi ni Rhea and Rhea will agree with me hindi namin sinasabi mm-hmm. na kailangan you have to speak like nakakaintindi ka ng instructions eh importante yun eh Ayun Um sorry medyo nagka-cut off yung ano ha yung yung audio I am not sure what's happening siguro because we're in the Philippines <laughs> And I am not sure if na mention na to ni ano ni Jeff pero um about excellent communication skills Ayon. It doesn't mean that you need to have a super perfect or excellent grammar. Um, although that's impressive. Uh, kailangan yung negotiation skills. How you say your thoughts. Um, how you negotiate. Kasi ikaw magpe-present sa sarili mo. Um, wala kang, um, I- ikaw lang. So, kailangan you know how to negotiate. Um, how to um, convey your thoughts. In, in a professional manner and your goals, your skills, how you would relate that to um, the person Sobrang you're speaking committed. to. Okay. Go, Rhea. Go, go ahead. Naputol ka. <laughs> Ayon. Ayon. <laughs> Nagka-cut off siya. Um, welcome oh, to the Philippines. Sorry. Welcome to the Philippines. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Ayon. Actually, kanina nagsasalita ako nung, nung tahimik. <laughs> so, I think uh, hindi okay. siya na-capture. Ayon. Okay, so uh, and I'm not sure if Jeff already mentioned this no pero um excellent communication skills doesn't mean for me yeah, it doesn't mean that you need to have a perfect grammar kasi ako uh, aminado ko diyan guilty ako diyan uh, medyo tagilid din yung grammar ko minsan um in a few occasions but uh, this means that you need to have um a good negotiation skills um how you will sell yourself how you would convey your thoughts in a professional manner how would you match the tone of the person you're um, talking to? So, lahat yon, Choice of words, your tone, kasama yan lahat sa ano, excellent communication skills. And um, not only um, when you're talking, but also in email, in direct message. Wag na yung text messaging ha, na yung text, ano. Um, kailangan professional ka sa lahat ng form of communication. May it be um, messaging on Skype, in video call, in in uh, in a call, or kahit sa written like em- emails and such. Yun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, importante yun. Kailangan talaga na um, yung ability na yun, no? Um, ako, mm-hmm. isa lang talaga yung nakakaintindi ka ng instructions, yun, importante yun. Pag pinaliwanag sa'yo, naintindihan mo. Yun talaga yung excellent communication skills. Tapos mm-hmm. nakaka-reply ka ng tama. Tama yung reply mo, appropriate. Mm-hmm. 
itong itong last itong second and third natin na to the last yung commitment discipline impeccable work ethic magkakaroon tong to no rea yes ano, magkakasama ano, siya yung, magkakasama siya commitment talaga um hindi ganito lang mahi kailangan talaga pag pumasok kayo sa isang kontrata with a client decidido kayo and committed kayo hindi po pwedeng yung ay ayoko na nagsasawa na ako sa trabaho iiwanan niyo sa gitna Again, it goes back to your brand and your online reputation. Tama, Rhea? Yes, I agree. Um, <clears throat> and, ano then, be professional enough then to to exit a contract if ever hindi na siya talaga fa- fair. Um, I had experiences na half day lang, half day pa lang ako kay client, nag-resign na ako. But I exited gracefully. So, until now, friends pa rin kami sa Facebook at sa LinkedIn. <laughs> So ayun, if you if there's a really need for you to exit, exit gracefully. Hindi yung iiwanan mo lang siya sa ere kasi it would affect your next job. What if your next client asks for a review from your previous client? So sa tingin mo ba bibigyan ka ng magandang review? Hindi uh, hindi siya ano. Um it would affect your succeeding client. So kailangan committed ka. Um work ethics sobrang importante din siya kasi um, yun nga, hindi tayo nagkakakitaan. Hindi ka pwedeng kalabitin ni client anytime na kailangan. So, yung discipline and work ethics, it's really important. Um, sample is, you know, you're being, uh, for you being able to log in on your mobile device. Halimbawa, may time tracker si client um, para lang hindi ka absent pero yung totoo, nasa party ka, ganyan. Or iiwanan mo yung busy mo sa bahay na naka-on, pababantayan mo kay Yaya habang nakikipag-inuman ka with your friends. Yon. <laughs> Wag ganon. <laughs> Hindi porke pwede gagawin mo. Diba? Or Papasok... yung ginagawa ng maraming bagong freelancers, kumukuha ng tatlong trabaho, pare-parehong shift, tapos tatlong laptop, and then bukas yung laptop, bukas yung iPhone, bukas yung iPad, bukas yung... Pwede nyo gawin yon. Yung desktop, ganyan. Pero, mabubuko at mabubuko kayo, and it will affect your output. Mm-mm. Mahahalata. Oo, yung quality ng output affected. So yun. Marami actually we talk about ethics and dami nating pwedeng pag-usapan when it comes to ethics eh, when it comes to ethics. Pero tanungin niyo sa sarili niyo kung makatarungan ba yung ginagawa niyo o hindi. Yun lang yun. And whatever the answer is, it will reflect on your ethics. And put yourself in the position of your clients. Sa tingin niyo kung sa inyo gagawin ng freelancer yun, matutuwa ba kayo? So ganun lang. Um yun lang yung question doon. Oo. Saka tatandaan niyo as freelancers or as digital and entrepreneurs, we are only as good as our last project. Yun lang yun. Ang lakas mo ka showbiz, no? Pero totoo yun. We are only as good mm-hmm. as our last project. So, kung magaling kayo sa last project nyo, yun ang magkikerry over sa susunod ninyong project. Uh, malaki ang role ng feedback from previous projects para makakuha kayo ng susunod na project. And if you're if you don't have the discipline and the work ethic to do the work, um, it will affect kung ano yung mangyayari in the future. Importante siya. Um, lastly, Rhea, itong kailangan self-starter, ito, uh, at ito alam natin, totoo to. Kailangan mabilis uh, mm-hmm. ang, ang environment natin sa digital. Eh, it moves very, very fast. No? Uh-uh. Kailangan, pag hiningi, abigay. Pagkakaya, uh-uh. abigay. Tatandaan natin, ha, makikita ninyo guys, kung nakakita kayo ng opening, um, or job opening for freelancers, parating ninyong makikita ability to work on their own and needs minimal supervision. Kailangan yun. Makikita mm-hmm. niyo sa lahat ng jobs. So, pag minimal supervision, ang ibig sabihin nun, pagka nagka-problema, kaya mo bang solusyonan on your own? Makita ka ng opportunity. Mm-hmm. Pwede mo bang pasukin yung opportunity na yun? But it doesn't mean hindi kayo magtatanong. Magtatanong kayo kapag uh, ano na. Kasi iba naman, OA, hindi nagtatanong. Kayang... <laughs> Solusyonan agad-agad. <laughs> Importante talaga yung culture of learning. Importante siya. Rhea, ikaw, may feedback ka? Ano yung, ano yung gusto mo? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Sige, before I end, <laughs> Ayan. Welcome. Oh, ko na sa kanila. Welcome to the Philippines. Pero before I end, Rhea, what would you want to summarize <laughs> for today's session? Ayon. Um, siguro for, to, for for 
for this session, um, since we concentrated on what we need to have to start a digital career, um, yung lahat ng bullet points na na discuss, um, anim to, diba? Um, ayon, um, wait, nawala ako. Natangay ng ano, internet communication, ng ano, uh-huh. internet connection yung, yung train of thoughts ko. <laughs> Na-distract ako ng pagkaka-disconnect. Anyways, ayun lang. Um, Doon pa rin siya papasok sa your willingness to do everything that is listed. Doon pa rin siya papasok. Your willingness to do everything that is listed. Um, your strong why, why you want to do this. Yun. And kung sobrang decided ka, lahat to kaya mo naman eh. And um, siguro at this point, matatanong nyo na sa sarili nyo if you are really willing to enter this field or this career. Um, with everything that we have discussed, um, siguro, medyo masasagot nyo na yung tanong kung gusto nyo talaga o hindi. If you're and willing if you, to go through everything that we have discussed. <laughs> uh, and mind you, uh, mind you, eh, guys, this is all based on our experiences. So maybe makarinig kayo ng iba, hindi ganyan yung sasabihin sa inyo. But I think, no, Rhea, I think you'll agree with me, generally, ito, mm-hmm. ito talaga yung pinagdaanan ng lahat. So, tapos mm-hmm. sinabi ni Rhea, if after this discussion, if he pa kayo, if after this discussion, this is dito kayo, then watch out for our next capsule session and we'll definitely talk more. Again, in behalf of Rhea Vargas, this is Jeff. Thank you for watching. This is Control-C. Take control of your career. Thank you. Good morning. Mm-hmm.